Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. Last time we made the Sword of Kings and the Auroral Armor, and today we're going to kick things off by building some battlements. Um, unfortunately, we don't have the recipe for this block, so I'm kind of just having to spread them out, but this is how castle battlements look anyway, so... I mean, I'm, I'm actually alright with this idea. Uh, I did sort of pre-plan it. Uh, basically, we're gonna... Well, I don't know if we've got enough blocks, actually. I don't think we do. Oh, well. I'll have to find some place to spare them, I, I suppose. Um, but for the most part, we should have a decent chunk. I mean, it's this this bit. It's because the, the castle is a bit of an odd shape. Uh, so we don't quite have, like, perfect spacings. Like that first wall, we did the one over there it was like perfect spacings I'm not quite sure how it worked out but it did um, but for the rest of it it's kind of a bit wonky as you can see uh, but it's all right it, it looks it looks good in the end with dirt anyway <laughs> actually looks like we're gonna have just enough oh uh, yeah it doesn't look bad at all and then one more we got four left over yeah we've done it yay look at me go so yeah it looks a little bit more castly now doesn't it fantastical and we got some ladders so that we can get up and down, but you know me, I'm not going to bother using them to get down. <laughs> Alright, so, let's crack on with the mission. Okay, um, first of all, the Sword of Kings. Um, nothing really special, except for the fact that if you do a spin attack, it's got like this awesome energy to it, which looks amazing. I'm not sure how good it is, but we'll see. Uh, get dead, please. And you and your friend get dead as well. Uh, that's the one thing I'm not a big fan of with this, again, it's because it's only got one opening. Um, it's kind of a bit difficult, but it means that these, that's, that's where the monsters have to come through. Anyway, let's talk to Merlin here, through the door. Well met, Dazza. It would seem thy preparations for the Dragon Lord's downfall are nigh complete. Thou hast gathered together the Ancient Emblem, the Staff of Rain, and the Sunstone. With these three artifacts, thou canst reconstruct the long-lost Ancient Altar. Tis only by the power of this altar that the sacred rainbow drop might be rebuilt and the path to the Dragon Lord's Isle of Evil to be opened once more. Thou hast also forged the Sword of Kings and the Auroral Armor, the legendary arms of the true hero of Alephgard. Whenever such a hero should appear in this world, these arms will serve him well in his battle against the Dragon Lord. There is but one duty that remaineth before the, the role allocated unto thee by Almighty Rubus is finally fulfilled. Thou must needs recover the crystal from which the rainbow drop is to be fashioned, and offer it to the ancient altar. Long have I laboured to divine how thou wilt obtain the sacred crystal, and at last the secret hath revealed itself unto me. I have seen how thou wilt craft the ultimate key that will open the doors of darkness behind which the crystal is hidden, and I have seen the ultimate enemy that doth await thee there. Dazza, my boy, before thou departest to bear this almighty foe and fulfil thy destiny, what sayst thou to making this castle tentacle even more splendid than it already is? Why then, uh, when thy role as the builder of Alephgard is complete, thy powers will surely wane. Tis meet to make the most of them while still thou canst. Sure. The reconstruction of tentacle is a monumentous task indeed, and yet I warrant that the town's revival may already be assured. Ah yes, tis just that I did foresee it. Verily, thy building talents know no bounds. Basically, we need to get the build, the, the castle up to building level 3, and we've already done that, so easy peasy. as my boy, I congratulate thee. Thou hast trodden a long and treacherous path to reach this point. In all of the uh, divers' realms of Alephgard, Cantlin, Remolder, Cole, and Galen Hall, the, uh, thou didst overcome nigh unscalable obstacles to achieve their salvation. In the beginning, thou wert sore abashed to have this sacred duty thrust upon thee, and didst, thou, uh, didst attempt to rebel against thy fate, did thou not? But now, the time for resistance is over. Soon thy sacred duty will be complete, and this weighty burden lifted from thy shoulders. Oh, my dearest Dazza, thou hast done hell of God proud. It is very nearly time. Time for thee to embark upon thy final adventure. All right, seed of life. Um, I was going to save it, but I'm just going to eat it. Nom nom nom. Alright, Merlin. Try and rack my brain by giving me even more weird speeches. Dazzle, my boy, I commend thee to have made it this far. Thou hast assembled the sacred artifacts required to build the ancient altar and rebuild the long lost arms by which the Dragon Lord might be matched. Though it cannot be said that Tantacle is yet restored to where it once was, the foundations for its eventual revival are nigh unshakable. So long as we men and women of Tantacle have the holy water that thou didst create and the strength of will to follow in thy footsteps. Tis but a matter of time before the town and castle are restored to their former glory. 
the moment that thou dost fulfil thy final duty to rebuild the Rainbow Drop by which the Dragon Lord's Isle of Evil might be reached, twill be fair to say that, in the greater part at least, the world will be returned to the state it was in afore this dread darkness was unleashed upon us. And with that, Alphagard Revival will be assured. They keep waffling on and telling me the same thing twenty million times. Hmm, why such clouded brows, my boy? I see thou art so overcome with emotion to hear such happy news, thou knowest not how to react. Come, Dazza, where thought alone will not provide the answers we seek, let us instead rely on action. The rainbow drop must be rebuilt. As I've told thee many times, the crystal from which the rainbow drop must be crafted is hid away in the blackest pit of this cursed land, a recess darker and danker than any other. And what is more, it is guarded by the source of the darkness itself, who is not like to part with it by any other means than by force of arms. As my boy, the monster who doth lurk in this deep, dank darkness will be my final foe. I know not what manner of fiend he is, but for the sake of all that is good and holy, I bid thee put him to the sword. The doors to the darkness wherein he sleep are unlocked by the ultimate key, of which I have already recovered one part. I bid thee gather the remaining materials to construct this key and bravely venture into the lair of thine ultimate enemy. Defeat him, and all that shall uh, all that all that thou requirest to rebuild the rainbow drop shall be thine. All right. So we learn how to make the ultimate key, and we get given the uh, the gemstone for it. Uh, I think we have to craft it from here. Yeah, and it requires holy water, the keystone, and a floater copper. Now, if we talk to Merlin, he'll tell us where to find them. To gain entrance to the chamber wherein the crystal requires to craft the rainbow drop has been hidden, thou must needs rebuild the ultimate key. Tis pass part out forged from floater copper, a magical metal with the shape-shifting properties of the fiendish floater copier. What little of the alloy that remaineth in Tanticle hath long since been collected by the covetous trolls who wander these moors. So go, Dazza, journey through the red teleportal and collect the materials thou needs to build the ultimate key. Use it to open the doors to the Fortress of Solitude, defeat thy nemesis, and return with the crystal. Yeah, so we have to go through the red teleportal and destroy trolls in order to get this floater copper. I'm fairly certain that the floater copper has no purpose other than rebuilding the ultimate key. And of course we have our favourite friend, the Bashmobile, in order to take on the trolls. Um, so it's fairly simple, it just is not a common drop, unfortunately. Um, you'll most likely get, well, we didn't even get anything there, but like, uh, I think meaty bones or something like that. So, this could take me a while. <laughs> um, I will be back with you guys once I have, uh, once I have found the floater copper. There's not like a specific troll that has it. You just have to keep going until you kill one and it drops it. That's sadly just the way it is. Alright, so I will be right back. Since I had to go back and sleep, I decided to craft some Wrecking Balls because, uh, like I said, we still need some more of the Zenithurium, I think. I think you need it for like the crafting one of the last things. So, if we actually come over... Wow, never mind. Oh, it's over there. Again, it's sort of like somewhat generated randomly but also somewhat not <laughs> yeah we have another cave here and in pretty much I think all of these caves have the Zenithurium or whatever it's called so just keep looking for it you'll eventually get it uh, this chest I've got a feeling is an enemy oh no it's got some chimera wings cool there's some Zenithur Zenithurium here, back here so let's pop the wrecking ball down and get some of that anyway so I'm gonna mine some stuff up and of course Oh wait, can't destroy that? Oh, that's weird. And of course, be right back with you. Oh, poop. Alright, finally got the chunk of floater copper. Wasn't actually that bad, I only killed maybe four or five trolls. I think in my first playthrough I must have killed like 15 before I got it, so... It's a... Uh, it's just a rare drop. You'll get it eventually. Alright, and we also got the Zenithurium stuff which we needed anyway, so... It was uh, all around a worthwhile trip. Alright, let's get rid of all the junk. We don't need that. Now let's craft the key. There we go. Bippity boppity boop. Three, two, one, done. Awesome. And now we go back through the red teleportal and follow our quest marker to the uh, our final foe, apparently. Alright, it is over yonder, so let's go. Uh, there's a troll on the way. If I, I, like I said, I don't think the floater copper has any other use other than what we've already done uh, so no point in trying to um, farm some more all right here we have a big bad castle 
It actually looks kind of cool. And there's roof blocks on it. I don't think you can destroy them, though. Alright. This actually looks really cool. I really like this. Let's eat the frog stool. And let's read this sign. Half the world. Oh, dear. This is half the world, apparently. Let's unlock. And let's go in. Dazza unlocks the doors of darkness. We can see our enemy. Yeah. I I don't know. And he just laughs. The world is mine. It's all mine. Clearly he's gone insane. Huh? Who goeth there? How darest thou disturb my solitude? I am the king. The king of all of Al Alfgard. The penalty for thine insolence is death. Alright, the fallen hero. King of darkness. This is not a difficult fight at all. You'll see he will do attacks like that. And then he'll do a charge attack like that. Just keep attacking him. It's really easy, actually. Okay, I wonder, actually, because I never tried... Oh, actually, that kind of hurt. Um, yeah, the charge attack. Thou has some skill. Okay. So you can't talk to him while he's doing stuff. And, oh, that's, that's going to be a cool screenshot. Then he'll do a spin attack. Get a three thrown. Yeah, I mean, it's not difficult to avoid this guy. I mean... Uh, at some point, I think now, uh, now that he's at half health, he will do other stuff. I've got a feeling that at some point he... Oh yeah, he runs away. And he summons... Uh, nothing? Okay. <laughs> I thought he summoned an enemy. Clearly I was wrong. Um, he just shouts, I guess? Did he not actually do anything? Like, yeah, this is not... A difficult fight at all. I thought it would be like horrendous and ridiculously hard, but he keeps smacking and eventually he runs away. Oh wait, is he actually running away? He is. And he'll shout again. Oh he does he does spawn a lunatic. Okay, I thought he did. Okay, and the King of Darkness is defeated. He just runs away. You like that's the thing. You don't actually see him die. You don't destroy him or anything. He just he just runs away. And this area is cool. I like the evil idols up top and stuff. But that's just a little bit anticlimactic. Um, of course, I don't know Dragon Lord games too well. That are up to the chest. And what luck? The Prismatic Crystal. There we go. Yeah, like I said, I don't know Dragon Quest games all too well. Um, but maybe he, he features again in other Dragon Quest games. Maybe he's going to be in Dragon Quest Builders 2 as well. But like I said, it's just a little bit anticlimactic. Dazza, my child, you have done well. He who has swallowed by the darkness has been vanquished, and all that is required to craft the rainbow drop has been reclaimed. All that remains is to rebuild the ancient altar, and the path to the Dragon Lord's lair shall be opened once more. It is just as Merlin says, the world will soon be returned to the way it was before that disastrous decision was made. When that is done, your role will be at an end. Dazza, my child, I am so proud of you. Well, yes, Tantacle will remain shrouded in the darkness, and its people will at the mercy of the monsters. That much is true. However, only the defeat of the Dragon Lord himself can lift the curse he has inflicted upon this land. I am sorry, Dazza, but you are not a hero. It is not your place to fight against him. Then how will Tantagal ever again see the light of day? Someday, a new hero will appear. A skin of the bloodline of Erdrick, who will lay the Dragon Lord low for once and for all. It was ever your role, Dazza, to set the stage for the hero's arrival. To rebuild the castle tentacle from which he will strike at the heart of the beast. To craft the armor which he will resist the Dragon Lord's onslaught, and the weapon with which he will smite the monster down. To restore the benighted land to the way it was before that fateful choice was made. I thank you, Dazza. From the bottom of my heart, the stage is almost set for the hero's arrival. All that remains is to await the coming of the Skirn of Erdrick, and the Dragon Lord's long destined destruction. How long will we have to wait? I I know not. Perhaps a year, perhaps a hundred, but the day will surely come. Do not be dismayed, my child. As the builder of Alfgard, your duty is almost over. Restore the ancient altar and rebuild the rainbow drop. And know, Dazza, that I do watch over you, always. Ladies and gentlemen, with that I think it's a good place to end things for today. I hope you all enjoyed. I will just quickly teleport back to base because it's almost night time. Hope you all enjoyed. I will see you all in the next episode of Dragon Quest Builders. We are close to the end. I think there's maybe like two more episodes left and we're done. 
which is crazy because it really does creep up on you. Like I said, this chapter is not long. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I, of course, will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.